what is the result of compiling and running this java 8 code snippet well here is a main class within that a main method which is the entry point of this program and within that here is a list of words and this list contains the empty you know elements as well next the is empty method reference is used to create a predicate that tests whether a string is empty the negate method is then called on this predicate which inverts the predicates logic making it test for non empty strings instead next the filter method of this stream uses this negated predicate to filter out empty strings out of the original list of strings two are empty and four are non empty thus the count of non empty strings which is calculated by count method that is 4 all right the output of this code snippet is 4 if i run this program you can see the output 4 so basically this program counts the number of non empty strings in the list what is the output of this java program well here is a main class within that a main method which is entry point of this program within main method we have a predicate functional interface and this is the lambda expression implementation of this predicate functional interface well this null check predicate checks if a given string is not null next empty check predicate checks if a given string is not empty that is the length of the string is greater than 0 and here null and empty check predicate combines both null check and empty check predicates to check if a string is not null as well as not empty next the test method is called by passing a value null so this test method internally call null check predicate to check if a given string is not null so as a value is null so this should return false so this and method performs the short circuit and operation so the first argument itself is false so it won't evaluate the second predicate okay so the and method will return a false so if i run this program you can see the output false okay if i pass some string here it should return a true if i run this program you can see the output true so basically this program checks if a given string is not null as well as not empty in a given a list find the maximum number and minimum number using java 8 streams well java 8 stream provides max and min methods to find the maximum and minimum numbers first we need to convert a list into stream so numbers is a list it has a stream method and stream has a max method and max method expect comparator as a parameter so here just pass comparator and this max method returns optional so let us call get method to get the value next let us get the result into a local variable of type int next let us put the sys out over here and then print the max value next if i run this program this should print the maximum number that is 100 from this list similarly let us do it for minimum number here let's convert a list into stream and then call min method and then pass comparator dot natural order and then call get method and here let us store the value in a min variable put the sys out and print this min value and then run the program and you can see the output minimum 10 write a java program to reverse each word of a string using java 8 well here is a input string first let us split this string into words and take the result into a string array so let us call it as words and then input string dot call split method split the string into a delimiter that is space now we got a string array next let us convert this array into streams by using arrays dot stream method next let us call a map method to map each word in a reverse order so here let us provide the lambda expression word is a parameter to the lambda expression and next let us use string builder it has a reverse method right and then pass word and then call its reverse method over here and then convert string builder into again string by using two string method and finally let's call collect method to collect the result next let us store the result into a list of type string and let us call it as result and finally print the result next let us run the program and you can see each word of a given string is successfully reversed how do we find the frequency of each character in a string using java 8 streams so here is a input string let's convert this input string into stream of characters for that let's call the cast method it returns int of strings next this is the ascii values so let us convert ascii values back to the characters by using map to object method okay so map to object returns stream of characters count the frequency of each character from this stream so here let's call character stream and then call collect method so this collect method collects the result and here just call the group by method to group the key value pair so here just call function dot identity it returns each character in a string and next let's call counting method to count the you know frequency of each character in a group next let us take the result into a map next finally put the sys out and print the map next let's run the program and you can see the output a has a frequency 
S has a frequency 1. Write a Java program to find the age of a person in years if the birthday date has given. For example, here I have given my birthday date as a input. Next, let us see how I can find my age. First step is we need to get the current date. For that we can use local date. So let us call it as current date local date dot now. So this gives the current date. Next let us calculate the period between birthday date and current date. For that let us use period it has between method and then pass start date as birthday date second parameter as current date. This between method calculates the period between birthday date and current date. Next let us take the result into a period. Let us call it as period. Next we can get the years from this period. So here let's see, put out the sysout and then period dot get years. All right, next let us run the program. The output is 32. This is correct because my age is 32 because I have given my birthday date as an input to this program. Write a Java program to remove duplicate elements from a list using Java 8 streams. So here is a list with the duplicate elements. Next let us remove the duplicate elements from this list using Java 8 stream. So here this list has a stream method so let us call this stream method and this stream has a distinct method so let us call this distinct method to remove all the duplicate elements and only keep the unique elements next let's call the collect method to collect result back into a list and here let's take the result into a list of type integer and let's call it as a result next let's put the sysout over here and let's print this result next let us run the program and you can see the output 1 2 3 4 5 this output doesn't contain any duplicate elements all right the logic is very simple first we convert list into stream and then stream has a distinct method we call distinct method to remove all the duplicate elements and then finally we call the collect method to collect the result back into list and then we print that list over here write a java program to retrieve the last element of a list of a strings using java stream api well here is a main method within that here is a given a list of strings and we need to find the last element in this given list okay so let us see how we can do that using java stream api so here first of all we need to convert this list into stream by using stream method next stream has a skip method to skip the elements from the stream so let us go ahead and let us skip all these elements except the last one so here just call skip method and then pass the size of the list by using size method and then we need to keep the last element for that let us have a minus one once we skip all the elements from the stream except the last one next we can get that last element by using find first method over here perfect next let us take the result into a result variable of type string and then print the result next let us run the program and you can see the output 6. So 6 is basically the last element in the given list. Write a Java program to find the sum of all digits of a number using Java 8. Well here is a given number it has digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First we need to convert the integer number into string and then we will convert that string into stream. String dot value of method. This string has a cares method. So let us call cares method to convert string into stream. So here the type is int stream. Let us call it as stream. This int stream represents ASCII values of characters of a string. Next we need to convert the ASCII values of a characters back into numerical values. For that what we can do is we can call the map method. So here we can use character class. It has a get numeric value method to get the numeric value from the character. Next then we can use sum method to sum all the numeric values. Next let us store the sum into an integer and then print this sum. Next let us run the program and you can see the output 15. Write a Java program to print even numbers using Java 8. Well here is a main method within that here is a given a list of numbers. Next we need to print the even numbers from this list using Java 8 features. So here let us convert this list into stream by using stream method. Next stream has a filter method so let us use filter method to only keep the even numbers in the stream. So here filter and filter takes predicate as a functional interface and we need to provide the lambda expression. So here let us pass parameter to the lambda expression and then lambda symbol and then n modulo 2 equal equal to 0. So this will calculate the reminder. So here we are using lambda expression to calculate the even numbers. Next let us call for each method to print the result. So here for each method takes consumer interface. So let us have a lambda expression over here. So this is the lambda symbol. And within a lambda body, let us have a sysout and then print number. Next, let us run the program and you can see the output 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So these are the even numbers. Write a Java program to sort a list of strings alphabetically using Java 8 stream API. Well, here is a given list of strings and we need to sort this list of strings alphabetically using Java 8 stream API. Well, it's pretty simple. Let us first convert a list into stream. So here words is a list and let us use its stream method to convert list into stream. Next stream has a sorted method. So let us call a sorted method to sort the list of strings in alphabetically. Next let us collect the sorted stream back into list by using collect method. Next let us store the result into a list of type string and let us give the variable name as result. Next let us put the sysout system.println and then print the result. Next let us run the program and you can see the output. The list of strings are sorted in alphabetical order.